Hello and welcome to Easy Project. So today I got a new modem and router for my uh, fiber internet and um, this is the old one I was told to throw it out. So this is the router, they, uh, they took the modem with them. Yeah, I was told to just throw it out. As you can see it's not that old. Uh, I got it when I moved into the house. Yeah, so I thought it would be interesting to take it apart and see what's inside uh, one of these. I took apart one of the old classic Linksys ones many years ago, but uh, I think a lot have happened since then. I'm not really sure if this is just a router though, or if the new one is just a router, because I tried uh, just this one was connected and it uh, does not connect to the internet. And when I hook up the new one it just connects immediately, so there's some incompatibility there. Um, even though it's just um, Ethernet. So, that's just two screws and I think the rest is just held together with plastic clips. It doesn't come apart easily though, so I think I might need to find a persuasion device, see if we can get it to open. Yep, plastic retaining clips. So we managed to get it open, um, and the first thing we see is this not much really, it's uh, mostly power supplies and uh, some cans and the connectors, uh, magnetics for the Ethernet, and uh, it's a USB of some kind. Mm. So, this must be the main uh, processor. You see the USB lines go into here, and this big. Uh, RAM or flash, uh, it's huge actually, it must be a flash, flash chip. Um, it goes into here also, and it has some lines going to this can, which could be uh, um, the Wi Fi. Uh, there's, um, yeah, there's two cans. I don't know if one is for 2.4 gigahertz and one is for 5 gigahertz, maybe. Not really sure about that. But uh, let's see if we can get these cans off. Oops. So I got it open and uh, I uh, used an IKEA lamp to give us a bit more light because it was really not good. So my guess is that we have the main processor here, we have some RAM, a flash and then I'll look up the numbers later but definitely looking at this one and this uh, component configuration here. It's something to do with the RF and also it's encapsulated in a can. And also this one, if we look at these component and traces, the arrangement, it's a classic uh, high frequency RF signals. So I just checked the chips uh, real quick on Google. There was not much information on these uh, different uh, system on chips here. Uh, this was a flash, um, 128 megabyte if I remember correctly, and I, uh, SD RAM. And this was a, um, a mixed system on chip for uh, router, gateway, uh, telephone, VOIP. Uh, and so on. Uh, this was a uh, wireless N uh, network and this was the uh, AC and I guess the rest of it also. Really nothing much interesting here. 
There is uh, one more can on the back though. So. Mm, yeah, nothing, nothing much interesting on this side. What a waste of time. There's absolutely nothing under there. There's a few uh, decoupling capacitors. I guess they just wanted to make sure that they didn't radiate also. Oh, now I see. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but it is uh, underneath the RAM chip. It's not underneath the uh, the main IC. So I guess maybe they had problems with the high frequency data lines of the the RAM maybe. So it looks like these big inductors and capacitors are actually not power supplies. Um, at least there's no regulator around them. I think it has something to do with this uh, uh, telephone communication. Um, but uh, I didn't check all the ICs but I assume that uh, this would be power supplies like these maybe um, and I noticed on the back here opposite, oh, opposite side we have some uh, 1117s so we have some linear regulating going on also but apart from that it's really not much it's mainly like four ICs doing the entire work here we have Something I assume this is for the uh, VOIP uh, because of the proximity to to this, um, and we have the two chips for the wireless and the main system on chip which controls everything and the Ethernet and yeah basically takes input from everything. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. There's uh, antennas also. Uh, I'm not a big antenna expert, um, I will admit that, but we have something here that has like two traces. I don't know if that would be uh, called a dipole. Uh, and the other ones uh, are very small, they go out through here. And we have two metal brackets here on the back. There's some unpopulated footprints here and uh, what looks like uh, mounting for an extra antenna. I'm not sure what this is for, but it's there. And it looks like I can't really count to three because we had the two antennas here and one sneaking out here to this little pad here. Oh, actually, maybe I might be a bit uh, stupid here because just looking at the sizes of the antennas, uh, this might be the 2.4 gigahertz chip and this might be the 5 gigahertz because these antennas are like half the size. Uh, just a uh, guess. I didn't really check it, but I guess that would make sense. So that's all for this video. I don't really want to go deeply into this because it's just... Um, I can't really use this for anything, but um, yeah, interesting to have a look. So thank you for watching this video, and um, I hope to be back with a, another video soon. Uh, I almost finished the lab here, as you can see, I do have a bench now, uh, and uh, it's almost cleaned up, so uh, I can show what I ended up with. So I'm looking forward to getting that video done, but uh, until then... See ya.